coffee. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Friday, finally. Yay, so glad that it's the weekend. We are heading out to visit my sisters-in-law in Ocean Springs, Mississippi. We are going south, so we're gonna pass through New Orleans instead of trying to go on I-10 and fight all that traffic. And it's raining, so it's even worse on the Atchafalaya Basin Bridge. Don't have too many plans this weekend, just gonna visit with family and have a few plans to visit some brew houses. Yes. Ocean Springs yes. has become very bougie in the last 30 years, <laughs> and now they cater to hipsters rather than old men and shrimpers. So yay, that's good. <laughs> Maybe it's good. I'm not really sure yet. I kind of like it, but I do like the old fashioned Ocean Springs too, where not even the Burger King stayed open in the winter because they didn't have enough business. So I have a guess about, what, three and a half hours to get there? Three and a half hours to the first brew house. Three and a half hours to the first brew house and to food because I forgot to bring my lunch to work and I'm having to sate my appetite with this very creamy coffee. So we will show you the first brew house when we get there. So we finally made it to Mississippi and I want you guys to answer in the comments. We've been having this argument for two years since we went to Big Ben. The song, Ghost Riders in the Sky, by Johnny Cash. I say that the movie Ghost Rider with Nicolas Cage, that it's based on that movie. He says no. It's based on a comic book. Which is based on that song. I'm not sure about all that. If anybody knows for sure to prove me right, y'all let me know. <laughs> if it proves me wrong, y'all don't say nothing. <laughs> Make sure you say it if it proves it wrong. We're about to head to Biloxi where we're going to that first brewery. Fly Llama. Fly Llama. And the little logo is so cute. I'm going to put it in the video. But it's a little llama with a scarf that's flying back. I guess he's a pilot. I don't really know. But supposedly <laughs> they have three different seltzers on top and different beers or whatever. So we're going to stop there first. And then second stop for the day is in Ocean Springs at... Hops and Growlers. I thought it was Fort Bayou Brewing. No. Hops and Growlers. Fort Bayou Brewing is closed. Oh. But that's where it is. No. At Fort Bayou? No. I don't even know. I'm just along for the ride. And if you didn't realize last week that I don't know direction or know what I'm talking about, I really don't. I just rely on Google to tell me where we're going and he's the navigator. I just kind of make the plan and he executes it. Correct. Okay, so we'll show you the brewery when we get there. What'd you get? I got your llama so fat. This is at Fly Llama Brewery. Yo Llama, so fat. 7.2 ABV. It's a hazy IPA. Oh, that's delicious. I got a flight of the seltzers because I couldn't decide on which one. So there is read, read them strawberry basil, muscadine, which is a southern grape. It's usually made from muscadine grapes, wine, they make that, they make jelly. It's really not good for eating. They're pretty spicy is really the only way I can describe yeah, these I guess, grapes. Yeah, I guess spicy is kind of spicy. Spicy is kind of Like weird. a pepper. Yeah, almost like a pepper. It's just, it's, it's got a little bitter to it. And then the last one is pineapple satsuma, which is really the one I wanted to try the most. So that's this one. I'll try that one first. Pretty good. Oh, and all of hers are 5% alcohol by body. So I got 15% alcohol right here. Yeah. yeah, I guess you look at it like that. Muscadine is pretty good. It tastes like lime. Really? Yeah. This is the strawberry. No, it's more like grape. You think it tastes like grape? It tastes like a grape, like a grape soda. I thought it tasted like wine. Taste it again. 
Especially, it's gonna be back heating in the back. I don't, I don't taste grape at all. Really? It tastes mine. It's good. I like it actually. It's also food truck Friday, so it looks like they're gonna have something called classy wrappers. All you do is sniff it. You gotta. It smells like flowers a little bit. They got a little citrus in there. I smell the citrus. Smell that damn elder wise or whatever the freak they put in here to make it taste like honeysuckle. Taste. It's gonna be terrible. Could be because it took her 10 minutes to arrange them so she could get a good shot. It didn't take that long. <laughs> so I gotta like puzzle these things so Chug them things, they don't get hot. Good thing they're new. I don't know how a bar doesn't have ice, but whatever. They're not a bar. They don't have anything but beer. Your beer is hot? No. I mean, is this Europe? I'm not impressed with the no ice. <laughs> so that was Fly Llama Brewing. It's right next to the Shuckers Minor League Baseball Stadium. Yeah. I'm sure it's a very popular place when there's a game, a home game. It's popular with Air Force guys. It's also popular with Air Force guys. Got a lot of those guys in there. Yeah, they had a bunch of military in there. But it was way too loud. They had I think it was a bridal party. I'm not sure what was going on. They about, eight, were, about eight girls. They're pretty rowdy, which whatever, that's fine. And the generator from the food truck was reverberating on the cinder block walls. It was um, causing me low level anxiety and they didn't have ice. Well, so what was your favorite one though? The Muscadine. The Muscadine it was, was good. really good. And my beer was really good. I would drink another couple, three, four, five of those. Yeah, but then we'd have to Uber home. Because, <laughs> what'd you say, 9% alcohol? 7.2. Some ridiculous amount. So the next one is... Hops and Growlers. Hops and Growlers. I was going to say We're going, Cups and Growlers. No, it's Hops and Growlers. We're going there and try a Blood Orange IPA. And when he says we, he means him. Yeah, I mean... I, I don't know him. what I'm getting. Is that the place that has the beer daiquiris and the Michelada? I think that's the place. Uh, maybe. I don't remember. So we'll show you guys when we get there. We're planning to walk this bridge tomorrow morning. It's a mile and a half across the bay. And after Katrina came, this bridge was completely destroyed. Yeah, it, it didn't look like this. It didn't look like this. It was a two-lane bridge. It didn't have a walking path, none of this. They revamped it with federal dollars and they put this really cool walking path on the side and so many people use this every day we have wanted to do this for years and we have never gotten a chance to do it so tomorrow morning the wind is not blowing 100 miles an hour like it is today we're going to get up before dawn so that's going to be around 5 15 and we're going to get up and we're going to come and we're going to walk it and hopefully time it to where we can catch the sunrise when we're at the peak of the bridge. The sun should rise at the view that you're looking at right now. But I guess we'll see. In case nobody knew, Biloxi has a lot of casinos. Anybody heard that? What'd you say? Biloxi has a lot of casinos, in case you didn't know. And that's what gives them the money. There's Harris. To make their beaches look nice and have walking paths and nice highways. It's amazing. Some cities vote down casinos. Like who, man? Oh, I don't know. Like the town of Lafayette, Louisiana, oh, yeah. voting down casinos because it's sinful. It is very sinful. Here we are at Hops and Growlers. 
What'd you get? I got the blood orange IPA. This thing is delicious. Even I have to say it's kind of good. <laughs> it's not flowery. You taste more of the orange. It's very uh, orangey, but it is very smooth. I don't hate it. <laughs> what did I get? Frank's Lager. I told him that I wanted something light, and then he said, you mean like a Bud Light? And he said, no, and I said, yes. <laughs> so this Frank's Lager, it's not terrible. It's got a little bit more of a hoppy taste than, I, than a Bud Light, but I can drink it. I'm not like gagging or anything. They have a seltzer too. Yeah, I just found out they have a seltzer. So we're probably going to try that before we leave. It's a pretty low key place. We met some really cool people from here. Yep. Uh, just had a conversation. The guys, uh, they lived here his whole life, but his wife was from Grand Prairie, which is close to us where we live. So that's pretty cool. Small world. Yeah, it is a small world. We're going to enjoy this and get another one, and we'll talk to y'all a little later. Yeah, but we gotta get some food pretty soon because she's getting hangry. This is starting to get to me. I mean, look how big this beer is. It's like this giant thing. There's no food here. It's so. better to have a giant beer than a small beer. I like those little small glasses at the last one. See, I feel like I'm drinking wine kind of out of this thing, but it's good, so I'll accept it. Let's accept it. <laughs> okay, we got apricot seltzer. I don't even like apricot. And Paula was going to try it because she didn't know what it was, but... It doesn't smell like anything. First of all, it's cold, which is amazing. It does not taste like apricot. It tastes like maybe Chablis. Really? Like wine. There's no fizz. Really? It's pretty non busy I mean, is it good? It's not terrible, but it's okay. It's not fragrant. <laughs> it's okay. It's cold. Okay. I'm going to try it. Okay. What'd you get? I got another IPA. Blood Same orange. one? Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'm not... That thing is delicious. I'm not changing. Stick with it. Stick with a winner. I can't believe how good it smells. Just saying, this is better. If I could get... This is better. Really? If I could get that in a can or a bottle... You just need to get a growler. The name of the place is called... I know, but it's not going to taste the same. For I'm talking about like to bring them with us on well, the trip. Think, oh, well, I think the growler is supposed to keep it fresh, but it ain't going to keep it fresh for a month. That's what I'm saying. Sorry. This thing is the bomb. What's wrong, babe? water on the coast is always terrible. It smells like the egg and it tastes like the egg. Like the egg? What do you mean? Like, I don't know, like a bald egg. It's terrible. Why does it taste like that? It doesn't look like an egg. Do they not filter it? What? It's got a lot of sulfur content. Was it come from, from, the, from hell? It's not a hot spring. It's Ocean Springs, Mississippi. So you are drinking spring water. It's not artisanal spring. springs like a Venus Springs. And you get that egg taste. You get the egg. Welcome to Mississippi. I can't wait to wash my hair in it. It's gonna be flat, flat. The local water should be known as Low Tide IPA. It tastes like the low tide. It's got a little crab in it. 